am Jay Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mga local man o oh, international. Oh, yeah, had it namin sa inyo kasi here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. <laughs> but it's hump day anyway. Simulan na natin with today's a number 10. All right, we're going to talk about Prince Harry is about to publish his memoir. Well, that deserves the 10th spot because his dad doesn't even know the future king of England. But anyway, now it has been announced. I'm sure it reached his palace already. But in here, he will share about his, his experiences, adventures, life lessons as a son, brother, husband, and father. It will feature some of his moments as a child under the public eye and will detail as well as duties and responsibilities. The memoir will be published by next year and will be available in both print and digital form. And yes, I'm going to get a copy of it. Prince Harry will donate all the proceeds to charities. Talaga ba? Akala ko gagawin niya to para lumaki pa yung kita niya, di ba? But anyway, his life was put to the spotlight since he stepped back from his royal duties and went to the United States to live with wife Meghan Markle and children as well as the controversial interview with Oprah, among others. Let's see when this drop will be. I just wish that Prince Harry will hire the right people to tell the story. Number nine. Halsey gives birth to her first child. Beautiful. Pop star Halsey announced on Instagram that she has given birth to her first child with partner Aliv Ideen, a screenwriter. Halsey also revealed that their baby's name is Ender Ridley, born on July 14th. The singer captioned her photo as gratitude for the most rare and euphoric birth powered by love. Ding, ding, ding. Halsey is known for her hits like Without Me, Bad at Love, and Closer with the Chainsmokers and Boys with Love with BTS. Yep. Anyway, number eight. Oh my gosh. So House of Dragon pauses production due to COVID-19 exposure. Ding, ding, ding. Still very much here and still we all have to take pre precaution. So House of Dragon production took a short break of two days due to an exposure to COVID-19 while filming in the United Kingdom. In a statement, HBO said the production member is already in isolation and the close contacts are also in quarantine. House of Dragon is a prequel and set 300 years before Game of Thrones, which tells the story of the Targaryen family in Westeros. It is set to premiere come 2022, and yes, I will really look forward to that up my alley people how about you do you like game of thrones it's really on top of my list anyway number seven we're gonna talk about kanye we haven't heard from kanye because we always hear from kim kardashian <laughs> The soon-to-be ex-wife. But now, finally, Kanye is set to release an album and Twitter world, Instagram world is set ablaze. Kanye will have a listening event for the release of his latest album called Donda. Further details on his 10th studio album is about to be revealed, but it is named after his late mother, Donda West. As we all know, Kanye has run for U.S. president and now is in the middle of a divorce with Kim Kardashian, with whom he shares four children. In fact, there were reports that he broke down crying while singing the song Welcome to My Life, which was supposed to be about Kim. And now we checked his Instagram just this morning. He dele deleted all his posts initially, but then again, uh, he did post two content, one of which uh, he did show us his accessories, uh, a necklace that I want to sport to with the name of my child, because in his necklace, he has the names of all his four children with Kim. Also, also, um, he is featuring another sports brand apart from his original Yeezy collab with we all know Adidas. Anyway, guys, let's see what's going to be up with Kanye soon enough. But for number six, here's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> The Dune movie poster is out. 
I love talking about films, meaning the cinemas might be revived sometime soon. Wish that we hope, right? So new posters showing the characters in Dune are out now. It stars Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa. Chang Chang and many more. It is a feature adaptation of science fiction novel by Frank Herbert about a son of a novel family entrusted with the protection of the most vital element in the galaxy. The release is set to be this October, people, but for now, here's the trailer of the movie. There's something happening to me. There's something awakening in my mind. I can't control it. What did you see? There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box and you die. What's in the box? Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Arrakis is a death trap. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. The future, I can see it. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Go, go, go! All right, before we move on, would you like to see us in a podcast? Yes, we can talk about that. Comment on our Facebook Live or hashtag Celebrity Top 10. We're going to talk about the news behind the news there. But now, just a general reminder, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on 1PH. Celebrity Top 10, We you can read us up on onenews.ph. All right, halfway on the show, just want to say first hi to the all the addicts. Hello! Wow, this is quite early. Miss Universe just announced last night that the pageant will be held in Israel. The 70th Miss Universe has found its venue. The pageant will be held in the Southern Resort Valley of Eilat, Israel. For those who miss Steve Harvey, well, he will also be back as the host. Miss Universe Andrea Meza will crown her successor come December. This three-hour event will be broadcasted in the United States and 180 countries. Miss Israel is Miss Universe. Everything is built for this moment. Waiting is over. It doesn't get any bigger than this.
Philippines, guys. Miss Universe Philippines just released the names of the top 100 delegates who will vie for the next title as Miss Universe Philippines and will be crowned by Rabia Mateo. But for number four, some local news. Goyo will have a special screening at the Mo Metropolitan Theater. Acclaimed historical film Goyo, Ang Batang General, a special screening at the Metropolitan Theater will be in the works. This was made possible through the National Commission of Culture and the Arts Film Development Council of the Philippines with TBA Studios. <laughs> the Dolby Atmos surround sound was tested in the event and hope to see the Met real soon. It's so beautiful. Number three. Ben and Ben as conditioner endorsers. <laughs> you saw it right. It's not a hoax. The meme is now a reality, not katang isip. So Ben and Ben's Miguel and Paolo Benjamin had a collab with Cream Silk in the unboxing video, wherein they saw their faces in the conditioner packs. <laughs> Memes of the twins were circulating online and said that they were good faces for the brand, and it happened. They were listened to. Big story right here, not just here in the Philippines, but across the world as the one of the richest men in the planet, Jeff Bezos, blasted into space. <laughs> yup, the world's richest man, Mr. Amazon right there, Jeff Bezos, successfully went to space and back aboard the rocket system developed by his company, Blue Origin. <laughs> Jeff was joined by his brother, Mark Bezos, as well as others like 82-year-old pilot Wally Wonk and 18-year-old Oliver Damon, making them both the oldest and the youngest people to travel to space. Ding, ding, ding. This also marks the first ever crewed mission of the Blue Origin suborbital space tourism rocket. Ding, ding, ding. Shortly after the successful space flight, Jeff gave away $200 million what? to what? activist and political commentator Van Jones and Chef Jose Andres for charities and nonprofits of their choice. Ding, ding, ding. While Jeff enjoyed the space adventure a lot, did criticize him and even had a petition asking Jeff not to return to Earth. What? This is due to reports of labor issues in Amazon. Ding, ding, ding. Some celebrities even tweeted addressing billionaires like Jeff saying that Earth needs their money way more than space does. Well, uh, yeah. Well, let's see where that goes, though. I'm sure they're going to be heard as well. Anyway, top one. Permission to dance tops Hot 100. If you've repeatedly listened and watched the music video of the newest BDS hit, Permission to Dance, well, it paid off. That song debuted at number one in the Billboard Hot 100, replacing their earlier hit, Butter, which, by the way, has held the top spot for seven weeks. Yeah. BDS became the first group in history to replace its own number one debut on the Hot 100. Yeah. Also, we've reported in One Balita Pilipinas on One PH, do stand by armies because BDS is coming up with a permission to dance challenge. Practice your dancing skills now. Wow. Before we end, everybody, just a general reminder to keep safe from COVID-19. Wear a mask, get vaccinated, disinfect, practice social distancing. Don't go to crowded places. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, mga kapatid. 4.15 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on One PH. I'm MJ Marfori, and it's a pleasure being with you all. This is Celebrity Top 10. <laughs>